Yo, what's good guys? The Black Ops Cold War beta is now live. Obviously, we're gonna go ahead and get you guys the best settings to help you get some nuclears, okay? The best in-game settings to help your game run smooth, help it look pretty. First, I wanna go ahead and let you guys know Activision did give me two codes to give away today if you need a Black Ops Cold War beta code. Obviously, for PS4, it's for this weekend. You can play right now. Drop a like on the video, subscribe to my channel, all that good stuff. Leave your PS4 name, your PlayStation username, gamers, whatever, in the comments down below. We're gonna message two people with a Black Ops Cold War beta code. It's uh, nothing really too complicated, but there's a lot of brand new settings in the beta that I wanna go ahead and show you guys maybe you're confused about, and maybe just changing a few of these settings will actually help your game run a little bit smoother. Now, first and foremost, I wanna start out with the field of view. If you don't know, field of view is in console now on Call of Duty. Normally it's a PC only thing. Basically it makes your screen big, not your screen bigger, but you're able to see more like a wider angle on your screen. I have mine at 110 on PC. I play on 120. I had it on 120 and a lot of people like maxing it out, but it was actually making my game lag. Like a lot of the explosions, a lot of the noises that go on in this game, there's a lot of them. It makes the game lag when you have the field of view set all the way high. Now, I'm on a normal PS4. I'm on an old PS4, like a day one, PS, a train engine PS4. So if you're on a PS4 Pro, uh, you probably won't have this problem. I'm on 110 field of view, but regardless of what you do, I would set it high, just not too high. You know what I'm saying? Don't leave it on 60. You're, you're at a huge disadvantage if you leave this on 60 field of view. So next, disable motion blur. You don't need it. There's no reason. There's literally zero reason. Disable that. You could use the colorblind settings if you're colorblind. So for me, I play on controller. I don't know if you guys play keyboard and mouse on PS4. If you do, it's kind of weird, but hey, you know, more power to you. I play on controller. I play on controller, so I'm gonna show you guys my controller settings. Obviously, we're playing on a six and six. I play on this uh, sensitivity every Call of Duty on every console. I don't know what it is about the six. I just think it's awesome. For me at least, you may feel differently. These settings feel like you're kind of up to personal preference. Tactical, I use a scuff vantage. I've got an advantage, you feel me? Cause I've got buttons on the side, my reload, my swap weapons, it's on the side. I can just use my knuckles and like press down a little bit. It's awesome, use code lag, you know what I'm saying? I uh, don't flip my bumpers, don't invert your look. Pretty sure Drifter does this. Shout out to Drifter, uh, disable controller vibration. I mean, if you have vibrators in your controller, disable them, mine have them taken out. So that's awesome. Slow down and strafing aim assist. Now I would enable this, okay? You want this enabled, this is basically your aim assist. Um, there's a couple other options that pretend aim assist, which I'll show you guys here in a second, but slow down and strafing, you want this on. Trust me, you don't want to disable this. Airborne mental, we're gonna put this on manual. The reason why is because you'll be in fights and you'll be in midair and you'll automatically mantle something and it's just not good. Honestly, I just saw this and had no idea that this was a thing. Anyways, grounded mantle, both of them on press, manual on press, trust me, you don't want this to be automatic just because if you're in a gunfight and the game recognizes that you're in midair and there's something you can mantle, you're going to mantle and you're gonna lose the gunfight. So turn that off. Obviously for aim down sight, we're gonna hold a uh, steady aim, hold attack, vehicle control mode, aim based, all these will give you, you know what I'm saying, the best, uh, the best accuracy. Here's where things get a little weird. Uh, the dead zones. Now, mine are supposed to be on eight. This is pretty much how sensitive your sticks are. And I promise you, eight is a really good one. Eight to 12 is normally where you wanna be. Again, it's all personal preference, but eight to 12 is normally like what most people play on. Uh, I play on default stick layout. You could play on Southpaw, Legacy Southpaw, whatever you wanna do. Just make sure your dead zones are like 8 to 12. I think that's the best, at least. Disable controller sounds, because nobody likes those. Auto move forward does sound cool, but I would disable it just because, you do, again, you don't want to accidentally start running um, when you're in a fight. Auto sprint, disable. Well, eh, I turn it off. I know a lot of people that play with it on. Um, like, it just depends. If you want it on, that's cool. I like having control 
over everything that's gonna make me lose a gunfight. And if you're sprinting, you're probably gonna lose the gunfight. You know what I'm saying? So I turned it off. Um, sprint behavior, obviously, you wanna go to, you wanna press to sprint. You don't wanna press and hold to sprint. It's just gonna destroy your thumbsticks and destroy your thumbs. Sprint cancels reload. Obviously, we want that on. I had no idea that I had that off. And finally, for the equipment behavior, we're gonna, we're gonna leave it a hold. Just because I don't know why you would want to press to take it out and press. I didn't even know this is a setting, but we're going to leave that on hold just because you want to be able to just click it and throw, not click it and then click it again to throw. You know what I'm saying? I just think that's a little weird. Well, maybe actually this will let you skip the anime. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about this setting in the comments down below. The uh, only other setting that I would change is right here in the interface tab, uh, the player names. I would abbreviate them, only reason why, it, it's just not fun. Like the player names are huge in this game, I'm sure to be fixed in the full game, but just in the beta, I would recommend leaving the names on abbreviated. I'm also gonna leave these on as well. So, hey man, hopefully this video helped you guys out a little bit. If it did, drop a like, subscribe. Remember, we are giving away a few beta codes to people in the comments down below. Just uh, comment down below your PlayStation name and I'll shoot you a message with the code. You go on the PlayStation store, redeem it, and boom, you're on the Black Ops Cold War beta. I'm gonna go ahead and hop back in, work on getting my first nuclear. I'll see y'all later, man.